Hi there, I'm Katie, a KV Core expert. I help real estate agents with their uh, marketing efforts and especially with the KV Core system, how do you create campaigns, um, how to use the system and how to nurture leads using it. So I wanted to share my screen a little bit and I wanted to show you what KV Core looks like as soon as you sign in um, and then show you what you could be doing to start it up, I guess. So this is what it looks like. This is your dashboard. Um, you will eventually have things going on here. Once you have people in your CRM, actually looking at your website, looking at listings, doing all the things that they could be doing. Um, but right now it's empty because nobody lives in my CRM yet. But the first thing that you should do is head over to your profile. So here, here's your drop down menu. This is your smart number. We'll get to that later. Uh, this is your email address. This is your website. Um, and then here you wanna click on my profile. So this is my profile, um, completely empty right now, but the, yours will be completely empty as well as soon as you sign in. So this big blue button here, it says edit profile. And this is what you want to do. You want to add your headshot because this will populate on all of your, your things that require a headshot, um, even in your like agent signature in your emails. So you want to get that in there. You want to have your name, your title could be salesperson, could be realtor, could be Jer New Jersey real estate agent, which would be mine. Yours would be in the state that you live. You want to do your MLS ID, your nerds ID, you have one. This vendor ID is for KV Core, so you could just leave that alone. You could add your cell phone. If you have an office number, add your work phone. Um, and then your email address. Your from email is when I send an email from KV Core, what it says to and then from, this would be from. So if I used my Gmail account, then I could put it in there. That gets very confusing though, because if you're using this and a different account for the from section, it doesn't make any sense. So I don't even know why that's there, but make sure your email address um, is the one that you use. I suggest your professional one helps with spam, helps with making you look professional. From name, so if your name um, is like Catherine, but you go by Katie, then from name could be Katie Dunn instead of Catherine. My full name happens to be Katie though. So I don't need a from name because it will be from me. <laughs> um, let's see. Use email from for notifications that obviously will send to like your Gmail if that's what you use. Um, but this actually goes to my Gmail, so it's fine. Here's your website. If you have another personal website, that's on there. If you have a lender that you give to everybody, you can add them there. Um, if you have any extra licenses or um, awards, I don't know, I couldn't think of that, then you'll find those in this section as well. And then on this side, obviously your social media, put your business social media, um, do not put your personal unless you plan on using that for business purposes, but a lot of things won't work unless you have a business profile. So make sure you make those. Um, let's see. And then your about me section, this will go on to your website. So it's important to do that little snippet. I have a video um, that helps you out because a lot of people don't like talking about themselves, which totally makes sense. Um, so if you need help coming up with an about me section, go ahead and click wherever the annotation pops up um, and figure out how to do the about me section in a professional way that also talks about you um, in a personal way so people get to know, like, and trust you. This is your email signature that will go out on all of your marketing emails. You can add a picture. So if you do a logo of your company or even a picture of you, just like with your name, you could do that. You could change the font, change the size. Um, and then this toggle will include 
signature on all outgoing email. I don't suggest that because a lot of the email templates have that toggled on already. So if you toggle it on here and there, then you're given two signatures and that just looks silly, right? We have these extra things. They only show up on certain um, website, what is it called? Um, templates. So you can ignore these if you want to, or if you happen to use a template that uses them, you can add them in. But these can be snippets that are also in your About Me section um, if you want to add those in. So that's the first thing that you should do is change your profile, make sure it's all filled in nicely. Um, and then on this side, daily task creation. If you do have people in your smart CRM, KV Core will tell you to call 10 people a day starting at 8 a.m. You can change this. You can turn it off completely. You can say, I only want to call my active leads. So I'm just going to click these guys off. Um, you could say, I only have time to make three phone calls a day. Um, and I don't start my day till 10 a.m. Okay, so save. <laughs> so it will tell me to call my active leads starting at 10 a.m., only three of them, so I can get my tasks done. Um, and then here's your office, if you're part of a team, all that jazz as well. And then you want to make sure you hit save at the end so everything saves. All righty. And then on this side, there's all the things that you can be doing with KV Core. So again, your dashboard, if you connect a calendar, like your Google Calendar or your Outlook, then that will show up here. If you do have calls and tasks on the docket, those are there as well. And then a little snippet of your business analytics, which you could find here too. Um, a good place to start is the Agent Quick Start, although I'm giving you all the information that you need, so you can ignore that if you want to. Um, playbooks are when you're gathering your sphere and working your sphere, and then when you do have a listing, this is a great little to-do list um, to get you started. Smart CRM, currently I have nobody in here. I could add people one-on-one -on -one using this, or I can bulk upload them uh, using something in the lead engine. So that's the second thing. First thing, you want to do your profile. Second thing, you want to get people into your smart CRM so you can start contacting them. Even if you do one contact and it's you, that's um, something that you can do to test things out. So if you're doing like, an email template and you want to see a preview, you send it to yourself in the system with a different email address because um, otherwise it gets confused. Um, and then you can see what your customer will see. So if you have nobody that you have to add right now, add yourself and then just get started practicing writing emails and sending texts and all of that stuff. Listings, um, it will show MLS listings, uh, company listings, so that's everybody in your brokerage, and then manual listings is everybody that I put in manually. And those you would do for um, listing presentation purposes or to have like the sold tab on your website, but that's later on in life, right? Okay, marketing, um, everything in blue is given to you with the system. Everything in green is a little bit of a premium, uh, but you don't have to worry about any of those, especially if you're brand new to the system. You just want to get started with uh, the general things that you can be doing. Uh, get to know smart campaigns. Scheduling mass emails is a big thing. CMA Builder is great for your listing presentations and things like that. Lead Engine. This is my favorite part. The landing pages and squeeze pages. I do plenty of videos on those. Uh, here's your bulk import. So if you do have a list of people from like a previous brokerage or anything like that, um, or from your phone, you just download a list there. You can upload that list right to your CRM using that bulk lead import. Um, you could also bulk import right there. Okay, and then transactions, obviously where your transactions will live. Your web and IDX, again, in this drop-down menu, this is your website, bare bones at the moment, but I could um, add my service areas and SEO. I could do some custom pages. I could add my Zillow account for testimonials, 
and all that stuff. I could change the template, change um, the color scheme, things like that. Again, a different deep dive video. Right now we're just going through what we could do here. Uh, marketplace is where all of your add-ons live. Um, I've heard that not a lot do a lot. <laughs> um, a good one to do is a vanity domain if you want to. Um, let's see. And then like some things are broker specific that I won't get into. Um, all right. And then, oh, you can search. Like if I search email, this will, that's voicemail, but things that will help with like my email system, things like that. All right. And then business analytics here is where people live in your smart CRM. So what status they are at. Uh, obviously, I have nobody in there right now because I literally just signed on and started making this video. <laughs> but then here you can see the KV Core activity that I have done. So how many phone calls I'm making, text messages, emails, how many property views are on my website, who is unengaged. This is important. If you want to click on that and add search alerts to the people who don't have search alerts, that's a good idea. This is a cool one, consumer interest. Um, when people start looking at my website and... Hi, dog. He's so noisy. Um, they start looking at my website and looking at certain properties and things like that. This will tell me the top properties people are looking at. Um, so those are things like I should get to know as a realtor in this area. Um, things that are most popular. Areas, prices, zip codes, neighborhoods. So if you do enjoy business analytic, uh, this is a good tab to get to know. Agent performance. This is just like what's happening in my system. Agent success. Again, this is just where people live um, and what I've been doing over the last 30 days, which obviously nothing. And then support and training. That's KV Core's webinars and things like that, um, which you don't need if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. So go ahead and do that. All right. Um, things that I will deep dive into more are the CRM, the playbooks, the lead engine, things like that. But this was just an overview. Again, first two things that you should do, um, make sure your profile is good to go and then start adding people to your CRM because that's how you're gonna use the system. Um, email marketing, text message marketing, follow-up is a big thing. And you want people to know your phone number, your website and your face. So I hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching.